Hey guys, my name is Andrew and this is Rogue Wrenching. Today we are working on my 2006 Ford F-350 service truck. This is a 6 liter power stroke and I want to talk to you about the oil cooler, what it is, where it is, and why it fails. So just for context, you don't have to take all of this apart to get to the oil cooler. I'm in here doing head gaskets, head studs, I'm doing all of it right now, but just the oil cooler lives in this cavity right here. So I've already taken it apart, so this is what it looks like with the whole valley stripped down, the high pressure oil pump lives in the back there. And this is, this is your housing for the oil cooler. So when you're looking at it on the front of the engine, you know, it looks kind of like that when you're looking down at it, and then the oil filter goes right there. So this unit right here is the actual oil cooler. So basically what this unit does is it flows coolant, and the way this works, let me get this orientation right, it sits this way. So coolant flows from front to back, and then oil flows from back to front. And then what you can kind of see inside of here is there's a bunch of really narrow like passages. It's like basically a radiator for the oil. So it uses the cooler engine coolant to cool off the hotter engine oil. Now what happens because these passages are so small, let's see if you can see it in there. Well, let's say it comes to the side. You can see there you start to get some of this buildup inside of the, uh, of the passages there. What happens is because when Ford built or manufactured this engine, they left a bunch of casting sand in the block. And so that casting sand and any sediment or debris gets caught inside of this. And this big brick basically acts like a giant filter for the coolant. Now, when that happens, coolants, the amount of coolant that can flow from the front to the back is reduced. The problem is that once the coolant stops flowing through here, it does not flow through the EGR cooler because coolant flows out of this or out of this port, and it goes right into the EGR cooler. When there's not enough coolant flow through the EGR cooler, you end up cracking EGR cooler, consuming coolant, and blowing your head gaskets. So this is kind of the root failure on these six liters, but the basic thing is that they plug up and they run out of flow, so they're unable to then cool the oil. On the later generation, so this truck is a 2006, on the 05 and 06, 05 through 07 models, the PCM has a strategy where it uses the engine oil temperature sensor and it monitors engine oil temp and engine coolant temp. And if they get too far apart, so if oil gets too hot, it'll set a code and alert you that your oil cooler may be going bad. There's a lot of controversy about what the best fix is for an oil cooler that has gone bad. Now, for me personally, I really like Ford's design. It works really well. and But a lot of guys really like the Bulletproof design. Now, what Bulletproof does is they put in a big aluminum plate and then a bunch of big, like, giant hydraulic hoses that put in a air-cooled, basically like a radiator for the engine oil up at the front of the vehicle. Now, I have had so many problems with these. Hoses leak, fittings leak. Um, you can't get hardware, stuff doesn't fit. You swap out your AC condenser, now you gotta get a different kit, and it's just, it's a giant mess, and it's super expensive. So, in my experience, the best thing to do to repair this when you've got this problem is to replace it with a Ford OE oil cooler. Get them from Motorcraft, they're about 400 bucks. They're expensive, but do not buy a Dorman. <laughs> and trust me, I've seen what happens when those do. The problem with Dormans, I'll just explain real quick. The problem with Dorman oil coolers is that the O-ring material that they use in the in the seals just it breaks down very quickly. And so you end up with disintegrated O-rings plugging up the screen for the high pressure oil pump. That's not a good thing, and also it starts leaking very quickly. So don't ever use a doorman, always use Motorcraft. But what I do is I like to use a Motorcraft oil cooler, basically go with a stock oil cooler. Obviously, I'm gonna flush the block while I'm in here, and then I put in a coolant filter, and then you get a spin-on reusable, or not reusable, but re easily replaceable coolant filter that then acts as a coolant filter instead of the $400 oil cooler. So that about sums up the engine oil cooler on the Ford 6 liter Power Stroke. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see what's going on with this truck, definitely make sure that you subscribe so you can see our progress on it. We've been doing a bunch. We rescued this truck from under a tree and we're going through the whole engine and I got a bunch of new stuff coming on this truck in the next couple of weeks to months. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me to get the videos up. But if you're interested in this, definitely make sure that you subscribe so you can see that. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up so that it can spread to more people and we'll see you guys in the next video.